So um, <laughs> what are we going to be looking at today? Um, about a half a dozen points very broadly. And um, firstly, we're going to um, just discuss what is an early evidence kit. Um, not always appropriate in every case, but when they are, we'll talk about those briefly. Um, and then secondly, we'll turn to how our forensic medical examination is actually conducted in practice, where and when and how should they be um, conducted. Thirdly, the definition of anatomical terms such as vagina in both medical and legal terms. There is, believe it or not, a difference, which is very important to appreciate. Um, we'll touch upon, just mention in passing, it's becoming an increasing feature of many cases, independent sexual violence advisors. And then we'll finish off by looking at the use of medical evidence in court, discuss a few examples, and then turn to finish with the Court of Appeal guidance on the use of DNA evidence in court, which, again, may or no, may not be relevant in your particular case. I, no. I can also say that in relation to photographs of him, bearing in mind his consent as a suspect isn't required mm -hmm. under Section 64, under Section 54 of PACE, an officer not below the rank of inspector can order that any part of his clothing be removed by force if necessary in order that any marks, scars, tattoos can be photographed. Yep. Marks in particular can be photographed. And of course, the, um, the photographs can be adduced in evidence in the proceedings. Yep. His consent is not required. So long as they've got the inspector's authority, mm -hmm. all this is going to happen using reasonable force or unreasonable force if he kicks off. Yeah. OK, let's turn then to some Court of Appeal guidance on DNA evidence. We, we've had three cases in recent years, and, and the first of them, uh, first guidance came from the case of FNC. And, and let's just be clear about all of these cases really in terms of the dna evidence and the guidance we're referring to here the examples here are largely what we might refer to as stranger sexual offenses so these are not the guidance given here will be of some assistance in other cases but often this is about putting the defendant at the scene particularly in the case of fnc and then in the case of Sakiri, and then in the third case we're going to look at which i still haven't managed to hardwire my brain to remember the case colin will remember it is it, it belhaj farhat that's the one yeah belhaj yeah. farhat so those yeah. are the three we're going to look at 